What do you think uh, about um, uh, Justin Medeiros' body, his frame, his build? Is he is he a different uh, shape? Is he like broader? You think than um, than your average than your average CrossFitter? Um, you see, you see anything like, about his physique that you're like, okay, yeah, that's that's a winning body or that's a different body that's won in the past. Look how look how thick this dude is. Like you just having you know just being stronger is better and he just no looks like a normal dude. Okay, like and stronger. then and then what do you think about his um uh, his his finish in the semifinals? I think he took like fifth or seventh. Does that con- you know? Um, does that concern you? Or are you like, oh shit, something's wrong? Like, no, absolutely no. not. He's a, I mean, he's a game champion. He knows what he's got to do. He knows where he's at, and I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be just fine in a couple weeks. You, you don't think it's it's playing tricks on his head? Um, no. I mean, I hope not. You know, like I, I I've been there. You know, I think um, me and Matt, Tia, a couple of us have been there and we know, and you know what they're going through. And it's not an easy, uh, mentally it's, it's not easy when you have the target on your back and it's way less fun as well. You know, like when it's expected and then you got people always second guessing what you're doing. So, um, hopefully he's, you know, disconnected from luckily for me, you know, social media was starting to come around, but it wasn't, you know, the main thing. I think that's a, the, a big problem with a lot of these, younger athletes is there's so much self-worth and and so much of their um who they are is is in that phone and what they see on comments and who they are digitally um that it it really it really it can mess with you you know and you can start down a a dark hole and then luckily i've got kids that they could care less who i am you know they see stuff and they you know they they're starting to kind of understand like you know if, if we go somewhere and people are asking they're like my my oldest is starting to grasp it a little bit, but um, and they've been to the games a couple of times now, and they see a little bit of it, but they don't care. You know, I'm dad as long as I show up and and play baseball in the yard or push them on the swing or jump on the trampoline or whatever it is. That's all they really care about. They'd probably actually like me to do less training at times. So I've got that perspective of hey, it's going to be okay, and um, and it's tough. It's tough when you're in it though. You know, it's it's you put you put so much time into this and it's, it's kind of who you are. And so you want to make sure that um, you don't read too much into that. You know, that's the hard part with, with, I think with what athletes, what the younger athletes are going through right now. Um, uh, Rich, are your nipples pierced? No, they're just regular old nipples. Oh, all right. Hey, um, th- that is interesting. What you said about the kids that you have, that they ground you. That is, I, I, did, really I didn't dope. think about that. They really ground. Yeah. They're really grounding. They're really grounding and really infuriating. Like I got one that just walked out and she's like, you can just be just all lost up in your fucking life. And then someone's like, Hey, from the bathroom yells, I'm done. I'm done. Hey, I need help. Come wipe me. Yeah. And you're just like, you know, like you just like, I just snatch, you know, a good weight. I hadn't snatched in a while. And then, Hey dad, I just, you know, I just dumped over this bucket of paint, you know, something like that. You're just trying to have a minute to wipe your own ass, and someone's yelling at you from the next bathroom over. Can you come wipe my ass? Wipe my ass, man. That's the. the (laughs) Um, you'll do this. You'll go to the games, then you'll do the Leadville, and then um, do you have a um a plan after that? Uh, I'll be out west hunting quite a bit this fall. We've got a couple hunts lined up. Um, that's something that I've really gotten into the last little bit, and then. Um, after that, you know, I think you're probably asking athletically what I'll do. Uh, yeah. Like, are you going to be addicted to biking after that? Are you going to be frustrated Uh, with your finish at Leadville and start training for it the following year? Who knows? You know, we'll see. I'm at the point, like I said, in career wise, like I'll probably do open. If I make the quarters, do the quarters. If I do make semis, I'll do semis. And if I feel like I want to compete at the games that year, I will. If I don't, I don't, I won't, you know, I'm, um, I'm in a good spot with where I'm at and I like kind of finding these new challenges. So, you know, something else comes up that I'm like, Hey, I want to give that a shot. I'm going to do it. Um, I just, like I said, this year I thought, Hey, maybe I'll go do masters. I got to semifinals and, um, did that and didn't really enjoy doing it, you know? And so I, I, I realized I do enjoy the team side of stuff. So, Hey, Hey, maybe if, if we find some two man competitions and, do some local stuff somewhere and have some fun. I I do enjoy doing CrossFit, but, um, you know, I don't, I'm, I've I've been there, done that kind of deal. 
So, so you, you, you kind of swerved over into the team lane thing. So are you saying that there's I won't a ch- be back as on a four person team of the games. I will not do that, but I would, I would do like a two man competition somewhere. If, you know, if it was, I'm, I'm doing one, a three person in Michigan in a couple of weeks. So is that uh, a conversation you've had with Hillary about not doing the games anymore, individual or, or, or team? I think she kind of knows. I think, you know, this year when I was doing uh, the open quarters and semis, she was like getting a little fidgety and nervous. Like, you know, like, oh, no, you know, like this is going to be. And so I, I don't think she believed me when I said I, I, I uh, declined my invite to the games. Like she's like, yeah, right. I'm sure, you know, something's going to happen. And so it's been good. It's been good. The kids, like I said, they're going to go to school this year, the little two. And um so we've had a good summer move, loop um, doing some travel. And like I said, I got to go on a little trip to D.C. And then this weekend we got, we were at NASCAR race in Nashville last night for dad's birthday. He's sick. Oh. He'll be 16 in a couple of weeks. And then we got Monster Jam in Nashville, the world finals on. Uh, Monster, is that Monster Trucks? Yeah. Have you done that with the boys yet? No. Oh, bro. It, they would they love that. will love it. it right. I love it. You know, like it is awesome. <laughs> The Nationals monster truck. Yeah, it's in Nashville, so like it's like the World Finals, and uh, oh man, it man, nothing will make you feel like a kid again, and let and like going to monster trucks. It's awesome. I did go as a kid. Andrew Hiller, uh, do the open division for the sheer fact that you were willing to try at the age of thirty six would forever make you better than Fraser. <laughs> nice, Andrew Hiller. Andrew Hiller, everybody.